What non-drug treatments are used for Alzheimer's disease? There are a variety of things that people with Alzheimer's disease can do to aim to try to protect their brain health over time. For example, when a person has Alzheimer's disease, problems like having high cholesterol, diabetes, or high blood pressure can sometimes be thought of to fast forward cognitive decline. So it makes sense then if a person has Alzheimer's disease, they should control these risk factors called vascular risk factors in an effort to try to slow decline and have better clinical outcomes. So what other aspects of non-drug care? Well, how do we reduce blood pressure? How do we reduce blood sugar? And how do we reduce cholesterol? We can do these through a variety of ways. For example, dietary choices. I think many of us know that having a low salt diet in a person with high blood pressure can potentially help, but there's a type of eating called the Mediterranean style diet that probably has robust effects across all of these different diseases. For example, having a diet that's rich in, in vegetables and fruit, whole grains in moderation, as well as fatty fish, like lake trout, mackerel, herring, albacore tuna, sardines, and most importantly, wild salmon a couple times a week. Trying to minimize red meat, having red wine a couple times a week in moderation, and having a more plant-based diet is key. Green leafy vegetables are about the most brain healthy vegetable that a person can choose. When it comes to other non-drug approaches, Exercise on a regular basis is absolutely critical, not just for general body health, but also for brain health as well. Other non-drug approaches include modifying a person's sleep patterns, getting on a regular schedule, and making sure to get at least seven to eight hours of sleep each night. Further, stress reduction. Stress reduction is key because the more a person has stress, the faster a person may develop cognitive decline. And finally, caregiver support. It is absolutely imperative for a person with cognitive changes and for family members who are helping these people to have caregiver support from a social worker or other qualified medical professional.